Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, we became best friends with the abused nurse. In this one, Who is my Monokuma wife. Some of this. I love her. Very much. Yahoo! <laughs> I'm the first one here to curry's all mine. Why is her voice just you yawning the entire time? You need to be stopped. Because that's what I decided, she, Gabe. She totally took the bait. Indeed. I wonder what kind of curry it is. You too? Hey, hey! What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up so over something so idiotic. Bastard. Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out here! Thank you for waiting! Hucky ducky, thanks for waiting! <laughs> thanks for the miracle of waiting! Alright! Hey Monokuma, I was the first one here. Let me tie your tips on the curry. What are you gonna do? No need to rush, no need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my specially made, uh, yeah, special made monocur monocurry, monocurry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. No worries, it takes skill to make curry nasty. Instincts. It is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. Fiend. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know that I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? Of destruction. If this is something foolish, know that I would feed your remains to these beasts. Uh-huh. You haven't noticed yet? The reason I summoned you guys, if you look closely at the park, you should be able to oh, yeah, notice. Closely. If you have fucking eyes, huh? you should be able to notice. Hmm. Is it that you're down here instead of up there? So, just... Click it. What even is all this stuff? Yeah, I know. What does it what look What like? is this? Uh, is that an arcade machine? Correct! <laughs> That's correct! <laughs> So I'd like the I'd like the long-awaited re recreation time to begin. Don't tell me you're gonna tell us to play this game. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Uh, that's not the button. Um, there we go. Dang, I was hoping I could get rid of her off the screen so I could read the thing. Hmm. Oh, she's totally into she's yeah. Okay. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. Yeah. After all, it's a game I personally created. Huh? You did? Forbidden Urban Legend Twilight Syndrome. Then, eh. then it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the heck? No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. You know, the famous game everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Famous game? I shall now present... Now then, I shall present it! Dung and Ropa Twilight Syndrome Forbidden Urban Legend! I had a Charlie horse for a second, that was killing me. And it still hurts when I bend my leg back. What the heck? That's pretty lame. I want to play games about little solving professors or collecting cute monsters. So, she wants to play Professor Layton in Pokemon. Stupid! Don't say such silly things! Hmm, Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the characters like a side scroller. I have no interest in weak things like video games. And I don't even know what generation of game that old is. With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Don't 
Disadventure games? Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. No, no. You don't like budgetary reasons. Oh, man, and I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on the galactic title. And what's the point of this game? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? <laughs> you certainly noticed the good part. That's right. This game is gonna be your next motive. Also, that's just Hope's Peak Academy. The motive you need to kill people. After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. This game is the motive. Actually. In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Uh, what, what does that mean? Here. If you're interested, then try playing it. Uh, okay. Hey. You can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. It's a trap. Hey. Hey, if that's the motive, won't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> That's absolutely right, you're quite the genius! I see, that never occurred to me. But, are you sure you want to do that? One of the motives means you're going to be prepared, you know? Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? What do you mean? For example, if someone's secretly appointed, that person might come and kill you. In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. What, what do you? What does that mean? Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Why did you try to read it? <laughs> I don't know. He looks like a girl. <laughs> That's fair, but you even tried to do his voice. I know. <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know. Is this really all right for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're gonna ignore it, then do whatever you like, even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye. What the heck? This is bad. Hey, uh, what should we do? But even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. Anyway, it would be careless to touch this game. There is no mistaking that. You are right. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But, but wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we were waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter, and the rest of us would be the prey! That's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true. <laughs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Yaki or Ter Teru. After Fuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But... But... Fuhiko makes a good point. You too? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Because it's not like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know the motive? Hmm. That, that might be true, but... And then there's her who's just like, Video game, 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 video game. Nope. Nope. Doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I will never, ever, I'll never allow it. Let another killing happen. Dong. You gotta be careful, Chiaki, bong. because the last person who said those words, you know, it didn't turn out so well for him. Chiaki, you're gonna play this game and you're gonna get a motive from it. This game was designed for you in mind. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Okay, so Good night. tomorrow morning before you go to the hotel, find my hero. Huh? It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just take a break for today. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. 
but... But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um, me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I'll never ever let another killing that could happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... I feel sleepy. I should go back too. I can't read her at all. A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being unaware of the danger correct? There's no way to understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. Monokuma Theater! This is troubling! You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous that people aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is defini definitely your past successes. <laughs> Those always hold me back. All the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't know anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. Man, being successful is tough. Wine, wine, complain, complain, Monokuma. Yep. Dong. Bing. Bong. Bong. Bingest bongest. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, it's not as good as beautiful day! And make sure to give it our all today! Nope. I should go to the restaurant for now. So before go I... Go into the restaurant. As if by habit, I left my cottage and I just happened to bump into a certain someone. Huh? Hmm? Oh, it's you, Fuyuhiko. Oh, I'm lucky. I have to see your face this morning. Hey, bastard. Just so you know, I don't want to have to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to go to the restaurant now, right? Were you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up! Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Just leave me alone. You say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to do with you. Hey, didn't I tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What? What do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? Well, I'm not trying to question you. I was just... You say you don't like the fact that I act on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you gonna tie me up like Nagato? Yes. Seriously, I didn't mean. Dumbass. Don't talk to me again. If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. That guy, he's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Okay, goes Gundam. This too must be the will of causality. The wind is very quiet. I do hope it's not an ominous portent. Don't know that word. <laughs> um, is she. She might state? be in the lobby. No, she's not. She's here somewhere. She's upstairs oh, in the restaurant. Okay. We'll just make sure you talk to her first. Ah. Ah. Nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? If this was Danganronpa 1, that'd be purple text, and I'd be go Nagito. Uh, is that for Nagito? 
I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito early. I kindly brought him breakfast. Jeez. And then listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. He said understand? he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Then hey. bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. Not only that, I just remembered that I have a little business to take care of. Business? Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. So it might be after this, then? My, my hero pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. Jeez, it's always something like this. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? So it might be after this, before the like, before you go back in there. Or maybe now, who knows. Hey, what are you doing? You kind of forced this on me, you know? Hey! Don't say I forced you! You're the one who agreed to do it, all right? Jeez. Anyway, I have some things to do, but Hyoko said... Jeez. Hajime, you're in the way! Mahiru and I are going to go to the supermarket right now! <laughs> We're going to get candy for each other, right? Hey. I know, I know, but don't cling to me like that. It's hard to walk, okay? She's so gay. She's so gay. Hey, hey. Then we can still hold hands? <laughs> yep, of course. But I really can't spend too much time with you, okay? I have some things I need to take care of. Aww. So boring. Then let's ditch Hajime and go already. Thank you. Well then, Hajime, I'll leave it to you. Hyoko is totally attached to my hero. They kind of look like sisters. Um, I don't well, know what no, gay ass sisters after. you know, Hajime. I know a lot of gay ass sisters. You can't go inside! But what? If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? Well, you know about it too, Hajime? Cause Nekamaru and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Manami's the only one we can rely on. And if that's true, then Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagato. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Starve? <sighs> it's okay to go inside then? Yes! Make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows! So Nagato is tied up at the back. Instinctively, I gulp back my dried saliva. Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously open the door to the dining hall. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Where did they get a chain like that? Wow, I'm so happy. Probably As one of the ones see, that just wears. I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness, as if a black poison was f falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness, an illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling at all at that moment. What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat it. Uh, you're not going to feed me. What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. Oh, I get it. Freaking Maguru. That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to 
Mahiru. She leaves saying she had some business to take care of. Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really like that game a lot. Don't change the subject. I'm asking you. Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that is, you guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. I don't but... want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime! I mean, just get Monami to do it. Damn it, I barely talked to him. I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave the game alone while I'm doing nothing about it someone else's? No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. <laughs> and that is literally anything else. So... so I'm so confused shh. as to... What? Oh. The hidden event. It says you must speak to Mahiru before going to the restaurant in the morning after Monokuma presents a motive like the first one. Which last night was the motive. Maybe it's maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's tomorrow. Let's try that. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to her real quick. What do you want? What should I do? No. Yeah, no. Who else is around? It wouldn't be now. I just wanted to be sure. Chiaki Nanami. I've never seen Monokuma's arcade machine before. Did he also program the hard drive? What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Let's invite Chiaki to hang out. Yep. Yeah, sure. Let's take a break together. I spent time today relaxing with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Definitely. Uh, blue ram. What? Ah. A famous anti-energy drink that will make you feel very relaxed after drinking it. Became a huge hit throughout its marketing slogan, Blue Ram Clips Your Wings. <laughs> I... Red Bull. Okay. Well, Nega I Red can Bull. have this? Thank you. I don't think you can raise the flag with this item. She's staring off into space again, as usual. Sorry. I was getting a little sleep. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if that was my fault. That drink, though. While well, you were standing? Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. That's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. The more I think about it, the more this situation feels like a bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio of the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Mm. Mm. How should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game? That's Either tough. way, that's all the more reason why killing shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. So she's kind of like the anti... Celeste? I guess. Yep. 
Doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun! You can beat them as long as you do your very best! <laughs> as expected the ultimate gamer, I'd probably just give up on a game like that. Um, but to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see, what is it? I won't tell you. I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. Maybe she's bad at, like, uh, visual novel kind of things? Like, dating games? So I guess that's good enough for now. Obtained. Obtained. Or updated, or whatever it says. I parted away with Chiaki and went back to my room. It's still light out. There's plenty of time left. Maybe I should try going somewhere, or should I spend time with someone? Okay. Where is she now? Still there. What? She's in the lobby? Who would have seen that one coming? Whenever I'm playing games, I get a strong urge to eat whatever food appears in the game. Mood, bitch. That is a mood. So I guess I want to eat donuts right now. Hey, Asahina. What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Maybe she's playing Dog and Rubble 1 right now. Let's go. I wonder if the supermarket has any donuts. Alright, I should go check. We found donuts and spent time eating them and talking to each other. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Definitely. Okay. Uh... Fifteen. That one. Okay. This strawberry flavored shaved ice treat Shaved ice tree comes with a spoon containing watery numbers. If your numbers win, you receive more shaved ice. Ah, uh, that looks like something I'd really enjoy. Yep. I'm happy. Thanks. Is she sleeping again? Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you go back to your room and rest? Good morning. I oh, no. Since you're here, let's talk. If you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. My adventure ended like this. That's all you're gonna get. Wizard King or something? Looks like she's half asleep. Huh? I can't believe you don't get my Shadow Gate joke. <laughs> hey, if you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. Hmm. I want to go to a fun place. A fun place, Where's huh? a fun place? The no. park? The airport? No. <laughs> the yeah. Market? The place you already what's been! What's fun at the supermarket? <laughs> we I went know. there earlier, and also, what's fun at the... That's funny. Okay, whatever. I figured it couldn't be that because we just went there. Should we go check out the supermarket? I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Okay. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Rising. Okay, got it. Chainsaws are the strongest, though. Sounds fun, so it's fine. The mini chainsaws, specifically. I don't really know what that means, but I guess it's fine. Chiaki is okay with it. Chiaki is... Chiaki and I walked to the supermarket Again, together. Again, where we just were. We walked through the aisles and walked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival, this place has too much of everything. Hmm? What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These sweets look cute. 
Oh, those are sweet rice crackers for Girls' Day. Man, this place is seriously, seriously has everything. I see. They're called sweet rice crackers? You eat them during Girls' Day, you know? Huh? What's Girls' Day? Huh? You know it's on March 3rd. You're a girl. Didn't you celebrate it with your family? Ah, uh, crap. I'm sure she has a reason for not knowing, but even so, I... I know it's nothing. Forget what I said. Um, nope. I don't really mind. <laughs> that face a moment ago says otherwise. I did have a family. My father. You had a father? Then your mother... No, I shouldn't ask something like that. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, so what is Girls' Day anyway? It's a doll festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for girls' health and success. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different colors. I see. That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. It's nothing, really. I'm not really... I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this, but for her to not know what Girls' Day is... What kind of past does Chiaki have? It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about a place I could take Chiaki that will make her happy. I took Chiaki back to her room, otherwise she'd just find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. And then I went to bed. Or at least I tried to, and then the murder started. Uh, hey Gabe. Dong, bing, hey Gabe. bong. Hey Gabe, buddy, hmm? pal, friend of mine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I made a mistake. What was that? So, the other secret event was in the first chapter. I thought it was in the second chapter. Because it says second chapter, right next to it. But it was in the first chapter. So, yep. That's a shame. Cassie. Sorry! <laughs> Didn't know! You had... One job. I have multiple jobs, sir. Thank you very much. I have to keep track of all the free time events. I have to keep track of all the items. I have to keep track of who likes what. And I gotta keep track of the fucking hidden monokumas. And the fucking pet. And this. Leave me alone. I'm trying. Shit. You had one job, and that was to manage my entire schedule for me. <laughs> uh, okay. We could so just how do a different save and just put it in. Okay. Um, does it add anything to the actual game? No, it's just a hidden event. There wasn't another one that we might have missed, right? No, the next one's in chapter three. I don't know why they put two in chapter one. Ah, uh, just so you know, it's gonna be a girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Cassie, you're an idiot. Why? We did this. Did we do it? Yes, we did. We baked, well, quote unquote baked. We were there for a little bit with them, and then they kicked us out. We already did this. Uh, I don't remember. I do. I, I very clearly remember doing it. I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I, I thought we had to. Weird. And then we get to this point, I'm like, okay. All right, yeah, no, Cassie was wrong. Um, We'd done both <sighs> events already. Well, shut up. You actually said, why do they have two in the first chapter? And, like, caught it last minute. Yeah, you know. Whoops. Well, that was a waste of time, but you know, it was a waste of like what ten minutes? Not even. Has an announcement to make. It is now ten p.m. Please return. Don't care. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep, but I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just a good idea to leave it alone. It's not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should give it a try just a little, just to see how it is. We gonna play a game inside a game. Oh, hey, Chiaki. Uh, <clears throat> that's what's up, buddy. So you're sure there's none in Chapter Two, right? Well, there was one. We already did it. 
Remember the one where we saw Hyoko and Mahiru in the bathroom? You're the right. Yeah. Huh? Where are you going at this hour? The Monokuma announcement was just made. Well, you know, what about you? What are you doing? Hey, hey. I was about to go back to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? Um, I felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about grabbing a snack from the restaurant and supermarket. Hmm. I see. So I'll be going now. See you later. Hajime. Probably... Yep. Hmm? Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like she totally saw through me. Yeah, you're kind of a terrible liar. You're almost as bad as Naegi. Total opposite of Nagito. Rocket punch! I don't trust anything anymore. That's fair. Wait, not even me? Especially not you. Ah, I knew you were going to say that. Do you see... What? Never mind. No? What? Oh, uh, that's not great. Um, I think my monitor is having issues. Uh, between the fours, the third four keeps popping up. Wow. It's not happening currently, but I was just noticing it up there. Uh, the level 44 thing. Yeah. Uh, it's second island. Um. No. No, it's in Jabra oh, Park. Remember? Right. Yeah. I just remember I got access to it now. I don't remember to where. Okay. Jabra Walk Park. And there's just a whole line of people playing. <laughs> so here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. So I should just go for it. It's not like you're the first person to play it and beat it. I guess I, f I guess for now I should start playing it a little. Kashi stood in front of the arcade game, and the screen automatically lit up. As I faced the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft, huh? Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, Chun. Uh, this game is a work of non-fiction. It resembles real persons living or dead. It's purely intentional. <laughs> okay. This game has a strange, old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder if this, if is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Oh well, I should try to start it up. It'll start if I press the start button, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Press the start button with your own hands. Second day. Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting, I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Whatever you say, Mikan. Wait, was it 1A? Is that right? Yeah, it was 1A. So it's at the very end of the hall. Gabe, you passed it already. Did it? I thought it was 1F. No, it was 1A. You blind bastard. Oh, that's what I... First floor, Gabe, that's what I... Yeah, I got that. Oh. oh. Hey, what did you do? I had the A button held down, mix or B button held down, because I was using it to run, and it just skipped by all the text in one go. Um, we're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Y yeah. Huh? What newspaper? God, you're such a slowpoke, girl, eh? It's in today's evening newspaper. This one, here you go. Just read it. July 8th, at around 6 a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. It seemed the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say, the investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school, so they might be thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, 
Her school swimsuit did get stolen, too. That sick, twisted bastard. Sneaking to school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window. Yeah, we're all in danger, too! But, is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right, all we do is find a body and not report it. That's not really a crime. It, um, but, still... I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student in this academy, there's no way I'm getting expelled or something like this. Right? Isn't that right, girl D? Yeah, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem to be so sure. Um, I actually may have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What is this? What does she want to talk about? To be honest, I, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. Where are those photos now? I have them right here. Well, I don't want to look at them. You're definitely going to get cursed. Cursed? Stupid curses aren't real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Uh, hey. This is bad if you rip like that. The curse. It just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them away in the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Okay. Hey girly, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind, let's just forget about the whole incident. We had nothing to do with it and we weren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay, the end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Two days later. Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now, then I guess I have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time the incident occurred, too. Oh jeez, why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right, I just gotta hurry and forget about that incident. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. Forgive me. Forgive me. Never. Never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. That's pretty cheesy. Ah, uh, girl, A. Hey. What happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. <sighs> Her head split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. It's the curse. It's all the curses fall because of the curse, girl, E. What happened to girl, E? Take a look in there. Classroom 1B. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Down five. What? Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it, even the game's structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden and then jumped to the fourth day afterwards. We were on the first and third. Why were the first and third days skipped? What's this down five message in the game over screen? Down five. What's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For now, it's a waste of time to stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. Down five. When, I mean, I would probably move the control stick down five times just to see. I went back to my college feeling hazy and disoriented, and as I tried to think about what I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. This isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's going to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran across the restroom. I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. 
Life is like that all and every now and then. Suddenly an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman's side on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No, why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting the urge to poop, but a gentleman but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for gentlemen, and that what awaited me was another important question. The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but have I forgotten what makes clean and beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions what waiting for you. you. That's what life is all about! That's bizarre. Even for Monokuma. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! And on that note, guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair. We're going to hope no murders have taken place and that we can figure out the mystery of this, mis this machine. Like No murders take place in Danganronpa, game. Yeah. Come on. You know that. No one dies in Danganronpa. We can stop the murders from happening by figuring out a video game. This will totally work. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.